I found some poop. There was an animal by our tents last night. Cause I got its poop. Good morning. Oh man. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling very well. I'm feeling pretty nauseous. So I'm hope I'm not getting sick or didn't get sick from drinking water because um, yeah, I didn't have the best bathroom experience last night either. So we'll see how this pans out. Um, but yeah, uh, crazy weather last night. It would start to rain and then a windstorm and then it would stop and it would be dead silent and then another rainstorm and windstorm will come and then it would be dead silent and it happened again and again. But Diana said she heard an animal and it was going like this. Diana, what was the animal that you heard? What was the animal doing? Breathing very heavy. <laughs> it's a little unsettling. But I didn't want to wake Jen up to freak her out. So apparently there was an animal breathing like that, like outside of our tents, and I found that I found that animal poop. So it was just an interesting night. But thankfully, even though it rained a ton, my tent's dry and I didn't have any water in my tent. You didn't either, right? No. No, so I think I don't know. It's it's dry, so we're good. Um, it's a little overcast, but I see like blue skies in the south. So just hoping that you know it doesn't rain on us today again. But if it does, I mean we'll just keep doing what we always do, and it's just you have no choice out here. So anyway, hoping I feel better. Hoping I don't vomit over the side of the mountain, but we'll see. Um, just a little less than 50 miles to go. Ho ho ho! All right, this is my current situation, dirty legs. I'm not cleaning them until I'm done. So, I mean, they've been cleaned in lakes, but they haven't been cleaned in like five days or so. Yeah, pretty gnarly. <laughs> That is North Shore of Lake Tahoe. We are about to basically cross it and walk on the, literally the north part. So we walk the whole eastern part of Lake Tahoe and then we'll be heading, you know, along here back to Tahoe City. Woo! So I believe that is State Line Point. So whenever we like cross that boundary, We'll be back in California. I'm just taking a break, waiting for Diana. She's behind me. And I'm next to this really nice little stream. Both Diana and I liked the east side more. Now the whole trail is beautiful, but we loved the east side. And we ran into so many people that just didn't talk very highly of the east side and everyone's like so focused on the desolation wilderness but I loved the east side like more so um, yeah it's just everybody's different and that's why I'm just pro you got to figure it out on your own you got to do what works for you everybody has a different style and taste and and that's why um, it's always important just to like take what everybody says like including me like what I say with a grain of salt
a lot of the trail on this side is like sand. It's kind of hard to hike in, you know, makes it a little bit harder, but it's really soft, so that's nice. This is very good cold water. This is Ophir Spring, Ophir Creek. Maybe we'll get a fish in there. We're at the Tahoe Meadows trailhead and there's like a building here so we, we're heading down to see if there's like restrooms and hopefully trash cans to dump our trash but we'll see it's it's really nice but I don't know what the building is. Closed. So this is like the nicest bathroom I think we've hit all trail but it's closed because of COVID. I oh. thought I was excited because I thought I might get a break from pissing in the woods. No but you don't. I don't. No! Let us in! Let Come us on, in! Man. This looks beautiful! <laughs> Let me see, can I see it in there? I mean, it's... Oh, I can't see. <laughs> Here we go. This is a beautiful map, so we're gonna show you exactly what's going on. Started in Tahoe City, that's me right there. And then we traveled all the way around in the mountains, deep in the mountains. We came up the east side. And now we're up here at one o'clock at Slide Mountain. And all we got is this. What do we got left? We got this little section. Alright, we until can do we're it. done. That's it. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I have high hopes. All right, let's get it. We get a bit. We have a big climb right now. We have a big climb. I'm thinking about taking a nap on the side. Oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, she brought a blanket. If you haven't noticed that by now, yeah. there's something seriously wrong. So she would take a nap with the blanket. Dude, I don't care. This is my banky, and it makes life so much more comfortable. All right, we just stopped at that beautiful waterfall and now we are starting a 3.4 mile climb up. It looks very steep. We're debating camping at the top. It's over 10,000 feet, so it will be very windy and cold, but it, I think there's like at least almost 360 degree views. 
and that might just be an awesome like sunset picture and view and it would might be awesome to set our, t our tents up there so we're gonna see but it's like straight uphill and it is 4 36 p.m. so we can definitely do three and a half miles before like bedtime but it's gonna be painful Almost to the top. Woo! This kicked my butt. But it also feels pretty good because I've gotten a lot stronger since day one. And we're almost there. And I think it's gonna be a beautiful sunset tonight. <sighs> Relay peak. One mile. Point five, up, up, up. <laughs> because we don't care about that. We just want the views. This is beautiful!
Okay, I'm huddled in my tent. It is freezing cold. The sun has gone down and past the mountains. It was just so beautiful. But yeah, it is freezing. Okay, let me see if this helps. That's kind of creepy. This is this works. Okay. So it's very, very, very cold. We're over 10,000 feet and it's windy. There's not a lot of coverage. Um, I'm camped um, in, th there's only like two areas at the top of Relay Peak where you could potentially set up a tent and we, we set our tents up there. So Diana's kind of like, oh, way over there. And I'm um, kind of nestled in some trees. Um, and part of my tent is exposed, same with Diana's, but um, it's pretty awesome spot to camp. Just, you know, the temperature and the wind is a little crazy right now. In the distance, there's like a huge thunderstorm and lightning. And um, it doesn't look like it's coming this way, but I'm just keeping an eye on it because this stuff makes me nervous because we are like at like the highest point all around and obviously I don't want like a thunder and lightning storm coming through it'll just oh god that'll just scare me and freak me out so I'm hoping that the storm just stays away from us but um, I'll keep you posted if it doesn't it'll be an adventure for sure um, turns out we have about 34 more miles to go so I convinced Diana for us to finish Friday and I'm really excited. So we have about two and a half days left on trail and we're just gonna make the most of it. So yeah, it's been awesome, but we still have 34 miles to go. So I'm gonna roll out my feet, do my night routine, get my sleeping bag because it's cold. I'm so excited to just like uh, cuddle up and get all cozied and then wake up and <laughs> hike, do it all over again. All right, hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the morning.